and I want to plow the lovely Queen Seru. Seen this man before? In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way, nice and all. It led me here. Gotta to talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we have none but him. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardle! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas, and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron, your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Master Witcher, there's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about some cops. Infosema! Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled! Ha ha ha! <laughs> one, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> hey! Enough! I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that! Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Hey, where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah! There it is! A snifter! Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Temerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the Blobtids round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blobtids call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Didn't come here to talk about the scenery. You're wrong to avoid the topic. You've just arrived, plain to see. And the local swamps and bogs, they're interesting to say the least. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. A 
said two beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Hmm. 
Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the park ends.
You late. All right. I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hounds on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm well, pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh! 
Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. What if I refuse, because I just don't want to? Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. Guard! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did that what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's womp on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Incense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. Here it and is. something else. Damn it! Jammed Saffron. again! Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind he'd stick with pins to hurt someone. White one. Looked like you got soused last night, too. Get out of my sight. Fuck. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now. made it to Velen. Think I got scabies.
Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Could use some hair of the hound. Put any vodka? Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm, yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with me own hands. So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a toll, but overall it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. 
I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Want to have a chat with this pillar? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. <laughs> 